Hi, my name is Twani Price and I am owner of Zuri Wine Tasting. Today I am going to show you how to decant or aerate your wine. We have three different ways we're going to show you how to aerate and decant your wine. The first way is the old fashioned way. So by just letting the wine sit in your glass for 30 to 45 minutes. The second way is using this handy dandy aerator that you can just attach to the bottle and pour directly into the glass. And the third way, my favorite way, is using a blender. So what we do is we take a very inexpensive bottle of wine and then we put it in the blender, we aerate it and we leave it in the glass and we're going to see which wine tastes the best. So we have two teams. We have Team Clemese. Right here. Hey y'all. Hey hi Clemese. And then we have Team 20. So, we're going to step away and then my brother is going to set it all up. He's going to pour the aerated wines into these glasses that are numbered so we don't know which wine is which. And then we'll blind taste the wines and we'll see first if we can guess which one is which and then we'll decide which one we like best. And you should put a, uh, like a small thing in some of some coffee together like so you can smell it. and ready to go. We have all the wines here poured blindly. We have our tasting glasses and we have our answer sheets. So let's get started. Team Clinet over here. Team Clinet. What, what, what did you call yourself? The wine connoisseur. All right, and I am team wine lifestyle curator. Let's go. All right. Hey, before we do it, can yes. I like say a prayer to the wine guys <laughs> to be on my side? Because you're a little bit more of a professional than I am. Hold on, let's just take a what? second. You know what? We're good. Let's go. Yeah, and I, I want to win because it would be very embarrassing, right? Okay. So, all right. So, first thing we're going to do is take some from the original bottle to see how this works out for us. You should do all the steps. Yes. I learned from the best. Let's, let's swirl like a pro. Right, I'm going to start off with number two. I'll go with number one. Okay. Hmm. Do we mark first or I'm do just, we? I'm going to just write some notes because compared to the first one. Okay, my case was on point. <laughs> Can you pass the coffee, please? <laughs> let me, coffee, my, let me reset my nose. Don't drink it all. Right. Just cleanse my palate too. Can't let you have one up on the competition. What competition? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I got 
this. I got this. No, I think I won. I, I really, I'm excited. Let me get a sample of two again. Let me just. Yeah, I think three was my favorite though. <laughs> Yeah, just need a sample. Oh, I'm not gonna pour this out. Don't be wasting wine. So should we call my brother in here for the results? Sure. Yeah. See All right. So we're here with Keith, and we are ready to discuss the results. So I think I'm gonna go first and tell you which one I think is the blanket one. Mm -hmm. And I chose number three as the blanket one just because I felt like the aromas and the flavors were very bright it had a smooth finish and it just opened up i liked it a lot so what you're saying is you were copying my test what did you say number three as well yes okay so hopefully you're both <laughs> right and then what did you say what did you think was the original one one i said number two because okay. i said number two because it had like a meaty aftertaste like it just it didn't smell as bright as bright I chose number one because to me that tasted the most like the actual bottle, like the original taste. Mm -hmm. So I figured, you know, if it was aerating naturally, then it would probably more resemble how the original taste was. But apparently, um, he's shaking his head. So I might be wrong. Let's see. Let's see. Can you tell but, us? Okay, so the blender. Uh huh. Your numbers were three. Three. The blender was number one. No! Because no I said number one, it was it was not as bright. It was very subtle. That's what I thought about number one. No. Okay. Oh, you're, you're number me. original was in number three. No. Really? Yes. Number three was the original? Number three was the original. Wait, which one was the blender one? Number one. Number one was the, the, the blender. And so then that means that number two was the error. Error, yes. Which we, we, I was all off. Number three no, was three the old-fashioned. So, three but, was the original. So basically... No, no, it wasn't... No, we didn't do original. We did old-fashioned. Yeah, I mean, the yeah, old-fashioned is the natural the natural. So yeah. apparently, you know, there is no quick fix. Yeah, apparently just to alone. leave your wine in the glass for like 45 minutes opens up all the aromas and the flavors. So the, the old-fashioned way to decant your wine, that's what this actually proved. It's the that's best crazy, way to decant your wine. Because I had it completely backwards. I thought the... One that set out was number one, and that was the one that was blended. Yeah. I wow. thought the one that set out was number two. And number two was the area one. I feel like I did enough talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? What did you think? Like, if you've done this test many times. I don't know. You know, I wish I would have took the test now. I, I might take it later on. Well, you want me to do it for you real quick? I have a white one. Do you want to do it with the white one? You know, that's so nasty, though. You know what? You did. You know what? Here, you, you got a 3-1 bookmark. Congratulations. I did. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are. Yay. You are the winner. 